way, dude! Hey guys, what's up? We got another Titan Quest 2 blog post to read together. Uh, this is blog post 4. Yo, check this out. Uh, holy smokes. Uh, let's, let's quickly read through it real quick, and then we'll oogle over uh, some screenshots. Uh, in Titan Quest II's ancient Greece, human civilization is threatened by all manner of monsters and mythical beasts. Some of these enemies you will face uh, act independently, uh, either by choice or simply by acting on instinct. But others will be more organized, forming a coherent faction with their own combat doctrine. One of the early factions you will encounter is the Ichthians. Hell yeah, boys, the Ichthians are back. Uh, you might remember seeing Ichthians in the original TQ. Hell yeah. They are one of the game's original additions to the Greek mythology, and for Titan Quest 2, we've expanded their lore to hint at how these monsters slash fishmen came to be and to tie them into existing myth. Uh, the Ichthians are a mysterious hybrid of humans and sea monster uh, with a vicious hatred of God uh, gl gl Glucose. They're, they got diabetes. <laughs> the God Glaucos. And all the humans under his protection using their own brand of magic and tools and weapons improvised from their aquatic environment the ichthians are able to fight on land though they do not like to stray far from the water okay that makes sense obviously we wanted to give you a short introduction to some of the ichthian enemies and how they interact um giving you a little taste of what we're aiming for with our combat naturally we're all also working towards real gameplay demonstrations Though the game will need some more time in the oven before that. For that, yo. So gamers, uh, gameplay soon, but not yet. They're working on it. This is an Ichthian trooper, a simple light warrior equipped with a spear. They can either use it for melee or as a thrown weapon. They will choose how to attack depending on the situation. Primarily entering uh, melee only when they have no allies already doing so. Really solid design, dude. I love the I love the intricacies. Uh, look, look at the uh, the webbed like I don't even know what you would call that. They almost look like bird claws for feet, and then like gross uh, toenails. And he's got I don't know if that's like algae on his uh, ankle, but then like the cloth work. The spear has multiple components. The animated fin. And his like tentacle ears. Yeah, lots lots of animation work here, boys. There's some squash and stretch on his on his calves, like his his ankles. His little gullet or gizzard wiggles back and forth. His mouth opens up. He's got a tongue inside. Yeah, all kinds of animated stuff. Yeah, really really good really good stuff here. Okay, we've got an Ichthian Enchanter. Yo, look at this, boys. Drawing on Ichthian sorcery, uh, enchanters assist their allies in combat by mending their wounds and keeping them in the fight. This is particularly impactful when they accompany strong Ichthians. Their healing ability is a single target channel that enhances the target's movement speed and damage in addition to restoring their health. The healing link also benefits the enchanter, so their health is also restored in the process. Check this out, boys. Same thing. He's got the same type of feet. He's got a he's got a, like a seashell staff. His chest, uh, uh, he's breathing. His chest is moving and, and it breathes. He's got like little tassels. Look at all those teeth. His ears wiggle. Yeah, lots of lots of animation work here. Tons. Yeah, his, his knees are going in and out. Yeah, same same thing. Lots of detail. Looks good. Okay, next, uh, Ichthian Hunter. Yo, even more uh, d d detail work here, boys. Uh, Ichthian Hunter. Hunters are extremely skilled and nimble warriors armed with a heavy spear. That's a two-hander, boys. That's a two-hander. Armed with a heavy spear, specializing in melee combat, they are they are already potent in direct combat, but they further bolster themselves by using nets to pin down their target. Using their net abilities, how they enter combat. They will follow up rapidly, closing the distance before escape would be possible. Pin targets meet the heavy spear, usually followed by one-way trip to the underworld. <laughs> Don't get speared, boys. <laughs> Look at this dude. He has no eyes. <laughs> Wait, I don't think I see eyes. Maybe they're on maybe they're on the side. 
there's lots of animation here. He's He's got a cape on. I don't think I saw uh, a cape on the other two. Yeah, same kind of feet, obviously. Look at all that stuff. Tons of texture work here, too. He's got like something under his uh, under his chin. It's like some gills or something. <laughs> Dude, that looks awesome though. Ichthian brute, Ichthian brute boys, a heavily armored warrior wielding a two-handed mace. Their regular attacks are already hard hitting, but in addition to this, they have a dash attack, challenging you to try to stay out of their path. In melee, they can also perform a heavy attack, slamming their mace into the ground, creating a shockwave in front of them. Hell yeah. He's got, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is hanging down from his mouth. But that's like... <laughs> okay, his fin on top is going back and forth. His ears are waving. His arms squash and stretch, right? Uh, but the texture work, the thematic, the this guy will be easily recognizable. I don't know how they're going to do armor. We, I don't, we don't know yet. Uh, but in terms of look out for the brute, the brute is red. He's red on the face. He's got a red sh um, hammer. He's got red hands, right? Identifiable. These are identifiable targets. Same thing here. Brown is like spear or the hammerhead like like face will be a, a hunter. The enchantress will have this seashell staff. They will have the mage robes. This is all identifiable stuff. You want, you want your things to be telegraphed and memorizable. Uh, so far, so good, man. Looks nice. Putting it all together, it will quickly become clear that we have designed the faction to form effective squads that benefit from one another's uh, abilities. While each creature may have weaknesses depending on the group's composition, we can cover uh, for some weaknesses while leaving others open. With the numerous possibility uh, scenarios, we aim to keep our combat engaging, challenging, and fresh. Picture an encounter with the four creatures above. Uh, troopers serve a function of light harassment while brutes are hard to ignore heavy hitters. If the hunters manage to ensnare your characters, you would have limited options to avoid barrages of hits coming your way. You could teleport to free yourself. Oh, teleport. <laughs> or use barriers for tanking, uh, but not core dash ability. Oh, core dash. Oh, 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 core dash. Oh, we theorized that everybody was going to have some sort of core dash ability. Oh. Okay, so <clears throat> there may be a blink or teleport ability that some class has, right? Or or maybe they're talking about your 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 basic teleport. But everybody seems to have a core dash ability, boys. Okay, so if you're snared, you can't use that stuff. The brute's heavy attack would be especially uh, devastating if directly absorbed. Meanwhile, the enchanter would heal and empower either the brute or hunter as a priority, making them even more of a threat. Yeah, it makes sense. Now, here's all those here's all those um, elements in game. We're gonna have to go through all these screenshots because this looks incredible. Uh, okay, from a tactical point of view, it's important for players to think of target priorities as you engage in combat dance. Uh, do you take out the fodder uh, like troopers first or just uh, just that would be easy? Uh, do you take out the relatively fragile enchanter while risking exposure to the heavy hitters? Do you spread your damage out and risk the enchanter, uh, enchanter negating your progress? Or do you use stuns, interrupts, freezes to shut down uh, enemy abilities during their charge up window? Do you focus on absorbing damage and returning it to your enemies via reflection? The choice is yours. Uh, from a design perspective, one of our key objectives is to ensure that different pl uh, player builds interact differently with each creature, and by extension, each enemy squad composition. Hell yeah. Uh, for example, a ranged character can comfortably keep a brute at distance, while a melee character will be oftentimes wanting to sidestep the regular attacks and evade the abilities or tank reflect them with the right build. On the other hand, a melee character can quickly dispatch ranged targets, while a ranged character will often take hits during their own attacks from the un unfazed ranged enemies. Uh, there are many other loadouts that the warriors of the Ichthian factions utilize. Uh, here's some of the extras and the images. And perhaps more importantly, there are other factions for you to face. But as we said last time, we don't want to reveal all our secrets. Yes, uh, this is like a this is like an Ichthian village. You've got their their weapons all over the beach. You've got their their food, and maybe this is like their hideout or a lair. Yeah, all this stuff looks really awesome. 
yeah so i'm not sure yeah so here we've got based on what we know here we've got some hunters in the middle they all have the spears um not sure what this one is these two are brutes and this one is either some unique or uh, or an uh, uh, upgraded enchantress but yeah we've seen this uh we've seen this building style before um uh, very very nice we've got their little their little pods that they live in all right so we've got the hunters with the two-headed spears there's like three of them we don't know about this guy yet uh and we i don't think we learned about the sword and board dude yet but yeah, you can see like they're they live in their seashells and all all this. Uh, they're real near the ocean, as they mentioned. Yeah, all all this stuff looks really, really, really good. But here's here's a mace. Um, chat chat's kind of covering it up. But here's the mace on the left hand side. It's like it looks like a one hander, and then there's like a looks like a turtle shell or a seashell. Can't quite tell. <laughs> as a, as straight up as a shield. <laughs> which is awesome and then here's the 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 staff and then here's the i think this is a two-handed um spear and then a one-handed sword yeah th <laughs> this looks awesome <laughs> i think this is enchantress can't quite tell either e either two of these this is the regular fodder guy i think but yeah you can see this guy has like a potion on his belt they look similar but different. Some, like this guy kind of looks more like a frog with a fish combined. This guy, I have no idea what he looks like. Okay, so there you guys have it. Uh, a huge look at the Ichthians, and that's our blog post four for Titan Quest two. No, no, uh, no touching on uh, release dates. Just keep praying to Zeus for uh, for soon TM. Yo guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.